Okay, class, for those of you who did not come to class on Tuesday and then we were snowed out for class on Thursday, I'd like you to do this in your sketchbook and bring it in on class to class on Tuesday. For those of you who were in class, you don't need to do this. What we basically did is we took materials that you wouldn't normally use in drawing and we experimented with them. Uh, I brewed some coffee, which is what's in this little cup. I then took some black ink, which is this ink, it's called Sumi ink and I mixed it with some water. It's very strong, so I mixed it with water. You could use blueberry juice, you could use cranberry juice, you could use grape juice. Um, you know, just get creative about what you think you could use. You could try the difference between very strongly brewed coffee and lightly brewed tea. Uh, some of the materials we're gonna use are sticks. You could get a stick from outside, or I had these sticks that I use in cooking that are sort of uh, for putting little hibachi things on. I also got some string, um, a Q-tip with a cotton tip. You could also take a stick like this and add cotton to it. Um, this is the, the stick that we actually broke it in half, and you can see what you're getting by breaking it in half are these little fibers. So I want you to experiment with this, and I'd like you to, you don't need to worry about doing a drawing that is actually a drawing. I want you to Think about um, the artist that you looked at, Bryce Marden, and if you haven't looked at it yet, please do, and see the kind of painting he did and how he got that effect. So I'm gonna move the coffee and this off so that we're in the area where you can see what I'm doing. So now I'm gonna dip this Q-tip directly in the coffee, and I'm gonna just draw. You see, by adding that little bit of pulled cotton, I'm able to get a really fine line here. Uh, if I wanted to make it di dipper, bigger, I could do this and get some um, dots. And I could also fill in with some area, okay? Um, another thing would be to take this point of the stick and draw with that. Now you have to be careful not to get right where your other ink was. In fact, I am going to blot that. Give me one second because that coffee is not going to dry that fast, so I'm blotting it. So you feel free to go ahead and do that. You could take a paper towel and blot it. Uh, so I want to come in maybe in between those dots that I made. And I'm just going to keep dipping it. And you can see I'm getting a very fine line. Uh, I don't know if any of you have ever used pen quills, but this is the same idea. Okay. Now, if I take the piece that I cut in half and got these fibers on it, they're all, it's almost like feathers, see? Then I can get more, and I could actually come in. Oh, and then it makes it thicker, like a thicker brush, because it's all those fibers are holding the ink. Okay, so now let's just say I went back and I thought, well, I'm going to pull some of the ink that's still wet off of the area that we were working on and make these little cross hatches. Um, and those do kind of an interesting thing. So see, it's pulling the ink that's already there that hasn't dried yet. And it almost fills, it's sort of spreading across. Now I'm getting this image that's a little bit like something out of nature. Because you know, a lot of nature has these little fibers in it. Okay. Now, one last thing I want to show you to use is this string. So, I took a piece of string, and you could experiment, if you like doing the string, with different widths of string. This is a cotton. Cotton is going to work best because cotton will absorb the ink or the coffee. But um, <laughs> you want to pull it out of there. Try not to get ink on your hands. And then sort of lay it down and pull it as you go. And you can see you're creating almost like a circular effect, like a dome. Or the other thing you could do would be to put it down and press on it and get, you know, some effect that way. See what we get. And when you raise it, you got that effect. It's almost like printing. So you can see there are a lot of different things you can do. I want to see one page in your sketchbook where you have experimented with two different liquids, coffee and a juice or coffee and ink, and uh, a stick and something that's soft, either cotton swab or string.
Okay. See you on Tuesday. Bye.